Hello and welcome to another Construction Toy Dude review. Today we are looking at this LEGO Classic Space Set from 1990. It contains 61 parts and is called the Vector Detector. Here are the pieces. We've got red, black and transparent green. Now this is the colour scheme of Mtron. That's a sub-theme from LEGO Space. There are three printed pieces. This sloping brick with the Mtron logo, a Wii 2x1 flat tile, which is a control panel, and the front of this post box. Yeah, some very nice detail there. The most notable elements are these magnetic pieces. Now, magnets were a big feature of the Mtron range. Let's have a quick look at the instructions. Just a single sheet, double-sided. There we are, and 13 steps in total. One minifigure is included. He has the Mtron logo on his torso, and visor which can be raised and lowered, oxygen cylinders on his back. Of course, this is back in the day before alternate expressions on heads. He's just got the classic Lego smiley face. Let's have a look at the completed set. The minifigure is sat at the controls. Uh, the canopy can be raised. First you have to move these two pieces to one side. And, well, well, usually it raises, but it's just decided to come off entirely. Try again. There we go, perfect. Second time lucky. On the back, there are these two long antennae. Whilst on the front are these radar dishes, or it could be a weapon of some kind. The main play feature uses the magnets, one on the craft and one on the container. So you would be flying along and whoops, there you go, picked up the box. Final score time, starting with design. Five out of five. It's a classic example of Lego space, and I love it purely because of that. Quality, 5 out of 5. These older sets are a better quality of plastic than Lego used today. Uh, I think plastic was actually cheaper back in the 1990s. Uh, I'll have to look that up. Anyway, elements clutch perfectly and really, really firmly. To compare this to a modern set, you can tell the difference straight away. You can actually hear the pieces squeak as they interlock. Buildability, 5 out of 5. It is an absolute pleasure to put together and it takes me back to when I was a kid. Yes, I'm not being completely objective in this review. Nostalgia and sentimentality are getting the better of me. Play value, 4 out of 5. You only get one accessory for the minifigure, which is a radio. Something a bit more interesting would have been nice and maybe another couple of accessories. The magnets are a very cool feature though. Value for money, I paid 22 euros for this, including postage and packing from Bricklink. That equates to about 19 pounds, which is a lot to pay for a 61 piece set. But because it's in such good condition, I think it's a fair price. This gives a final score of 22 out of 25. I'm going to be keeping this set very safe and I think I'm about to experience Nostalgia Meltdown. So before that happens, I will sign off here. Thank you so much for watching. Please check out the channels I am subscribed to. They are all fantastic and deserve many more views and subscriptions than they have. I will see you again when I can with another Construction Tidude review.